Hello everyone, Professor Manpick Trading. Today, May 23rd, 2024, we're going to talk about Elephant's ASCO readout uh, from the MTAV plus key trader clinical trial, the 202 beat all the current standard of treatment. Uh, we still think the stock price could three times from here. Real quick disclaimer, we're currently holding LFE stocks and local options do not represent any pharmaceutical company. Any medical question, please consult your own doctors. We're not financial adv advisors, please invest at your own risks. So what happened is the data came out really nice, right? And after market hours yesterday on Thursday, uh, stock actually popped into 11.39. There's a lot of excitement on Twitter and social media. And today at opening on Friday, it's very disappointing that the stock actually tanked really quickly. Uh, there's a really big volume, uh, probably sure sell off uh, 1 million uh, shares of IOFAN stock. And it's actually pretty coincident to the XBI small biotech ETF, which is in pretty heavy downtrend because of the inflation problem. Uh, so we think this actually sell off at a Friday opening. It's very likely due to maybe short seller a little bit, but also probably because of the weakness of uh, small biotech ETF in general. Um, however, we see the data is really good. So we're definitely expecting it should at least close uh, above $12 per share with this data, but uh, it's actually not what happened. And uh, right now it closed at 10.01, which is right above the 200-day EMA $10. It literally just kind of hanging there, right? So quite disappointing in terms of stock price action, but let's take a look at the data first, and then we'll uh, deep dive into what's going on and what's the explanation and what might be next. Okay, so first, so we mentioned some terminology. Um, we also highlight what they are in the last IELTS video. So the video will be the upper right corner. Feel free to check. So let's take a look at the data directly. So the current standard of treatment first, Keytruda itself was released uh, 2014 in this Kino 06 trial, uh, 30, 500 patients, 34 ORR over response rate and 6% complete response rate. Uh, the other treatment, standard of treatment, let's just say O plus one, uh, the latest clinical trials 2020, uh, we put the link here for the clinical trial results. It was 157 patients using this O plus one combination against uh, metastatic, uh, metastatic melanoma, 48% ORR, 28% uh, CR. However, the data that we got yesterday, which is really good, the 202 readout, only 22 patients because this is a more difficult treatment with T-cell therapy, uh, TL therapy specifically, uh, using those 22 patients with metastatic melanoma, uh, using MTAV plus Keytruda with 60% of them are PDD-1 positive. Uh, we're seeing really, really great numbers. Uh, first, 64% overall response rate is better than the current two standard of treatment. And the complete response rate is 32%, which is slightly better than O plus Y, uh, which is again 28%. However, what we really like the results are is the responses actually deepen over time, which is what you don't see from the previous two trials. Uh, so the first is 10 out of the 14 patients actually had ongoing response. Okay, that's 71%. Eight out of 14 of them patients, uh, 36%, actually had responses more than 12 months. Uh, we really need to get some more details, like we mentioned in the last video. What is the overall response rate for those specific subgroup of patients who have P? one uh, treatment already. Uh, if they can provide more details in the talk on May 31st, uh, might be even more bullish. Uh, we're hoping that number uh, is higher than we expected. Right, so really bullish number. We think this MTAFI plus Keytruda could be the first line treatment pretty soon in the near future or in the next six to 12 months. And that definitely will bring more hope to the melanoma patients, but also the investors, right? Like, I, I think this is a great data that almost guaranteeing that this company might get acquired in the next few months, really soon, because not only they have this potential, but also can be used on other solid tumor cancer like NSCLC, right? Or endometrial uh, cancer, so great potential. And again, we think the patients and doctor will start pushing for MTAV and Keytruda for earlier treatment. And like IOFAN said in their newsletter, um, that they might even need to finish the 301 phase three trial, which is MTAV plus Keytruda. Uh, they might be able to finish that trial early and send it for accelerated approval based on this really promising data. And also we believe based on this data, um, we believe the, a lot of doctors will start to push for MTAV for earlier treatment. So the demand will actually four to five times 
uh, from the current numbers in second half next year, making the demand about 2,000 to 2,500 patients uh, a year. So that will uh, make the uh, IELTS fundamental prices to 30 to 37 dollars. Because one thing we want to clarify here is, even though it's better than the current standard of treatment, we do understand TIL is more complicated therapy, requires surgery, and you need to have a high dosage of IL-2, which has some adverse effect, right? So it's not for everybody. So we do understand it's not a winner-take-all market. Is IL fans will have more demand on MTAFI, but it doesn't mean they will take 100% of a market share. It never happened like this in the pharmaceutical commercial space. When you do a commercial launch, even your drug is so, so good, but are, as long as they are competitors, you probably will get 67% of the market share. Uh, very rarely we see you get 100% of market share when there are competitors, unless your uh, treatment is really better and superior, cheaper than any existing treatment, which rarely happen. Uh, but however, based on this scenario that we mentioned, we do think the buy-up is likely to happen before the year end because this is so good, right? So this is just our opinion. Um, a lot of people are asking about a possible takeout price. And to be honest, come back to the previous point, we believe if Big Pharma doesn't act soon, some other Big Pharma will act, right? So I think that's just a time people will start beating. Um, into the January 14 to 17 next year, I believe, uh, JP Morgan conference, uh, which is often a peak time to announce acquisition deals. So we just have to wait and see. Uh, one thing I want to highlight is right now, because the MTAFI demand, we think it could be four to five times higher is second half next year. Uh, this will make IELTS fundamental price again, 30 to $37. And also for the $10, 10 plus billion dollar acquisition in the na uh, past uh, three years, the average acquisition premium is around 50%. So that means if the fundamental price elephants can push to 30 to $37 share um, plus 50% premium, uh, we think elephants is possibly got acquired uh, somewhere between 45 to $56 per share. However, that's before the second half next year that we might have seen some NSCOC readout where it could, if positive, it could bring out a stock price $20 to $30 per share even more based on the current um, stock um, number. If they do any more dilution, of course, that number could change, but uh, NSCLC is the largest solid tumor cancer market. So if that data is positive, boom, the price will go even higher. So just something to keep in mind. However, uh, that numbers I quoted in this slide, the positive take up price in the previous slide, I mentioned IELTS fundamental price is $30 to $37 per share. There's a big if over here. Let's take a look. So there's a really, really challenging factor to estimating the price or revenue. Is if you look at this 202 readout, right? Like they mentioned the median range of the patients, 48.5% uh, between 18 to 68 years old who received this MTAV plus Keytruda. So based on this number, it tells me guesstimate. We can assume about 25 to 33% of IELTS patients in this trial are under Medicare or Medicaid plans, uh, which is an insurance claim in the United States, uh, just in case you are listening from other countries. Uh, this type of insurance are usually launched by the state or federal government, and they usually want more discounts. So currently, what we are estimating is the MTAV itself, the wholesale price is $515,000 to the commercial private insurance, uh, plus the perlucan is about $90,000. So we're looking at around $600,000 billed to the private insurance in the United States. However, when they sell, pharmaceutical companies sell drugs, to Medicare or Medicaid, they usually sign contracts say you want you have to give me a discount, batch discount. And often that discount is really big. We just don't know how big it is right now. And we mentioned in the last video that's quite likely that the IELTS management cannot offer any kind of revenue estimate or guidance. It's just because there's quite a bit of potentially uh, Medicare and Medicaid patients and they haven't fully finalized the negotiation of the the price with this uh, government-based interest plan because this this therapy is just so new it got approved in february um, if the discount is big that can actually bring down their actual sales price quite a bit uh, for mtavi right so that will also lower the revenues 
So that's one factor that we don't know. And the second factor is we don't know how many of their patients are on the Medicare or Medicaid. And I guess they are also doing estimate and they don't have the real numbers yet. Right. So we have been messaging them. Uh, the last emails was sent out on May 16. We actually um, are asking them for the current MTAFI enrolled patients. Um, how many of them, what's the percentage are in commercial insurance plan, how many are Medicaid, and how many are Medicare. Um, at least of now, after about eight days, we still haven't heard back from them. Um, so yeah, we're hoping we can get this uh, pretty critical information. Um, so that's one big uncertainty we think is causing this very disappointing price action. Like the Wall Street is really looking for some revenue guidance so they can start to make some fundamental analysis, either boost the price target or drop the price target whatsoever, or start to recommend more of their clients start to buy this stock, right? Currently, I think they just cannot do it. So that is really hitting the stock price. And it, actually, this very email I sent to IELTS fans, the third point I told them is, hey, can you guys at least provide some revenue guidance? And if not, could you at least tell us why, right? Like everybody is just guessing. Yes, very promising patient numbers, potential patient growth. Everything looks good on paper, but at least, hey, revenue numbers, dude, commercial launch now, so please, right? Uh, but so far, after eight days, no response. So we just have to wait and see uh, how things play out. There's an annual meeting coming out uh, in two weeks, and there's another JP Morgan conference. Uh, I offense is going to be there in a few weeks as well. Maybe we'll get more, a little more information. I'm sure there will be other people and analysts asked about the same question I asked. So we just have to wait and see. And the other thing is the inflation is a big problem. And we mentioned in the other video on the upper right corner, and we think this is really creating a problem for IELTS fans because IELTS fans, uh, people are really afraid of more stock dilution, even though the management quoted us that Q4 2025 is where their cash, current cash level can last, right? Until Q4 2025, so they, People are still a little afraid that this cash burning therapy will make the stock dilution happen sooner than you know Q4 2025. So I think because of this cash thing scenario, IELTS is getting hit really badly in terms of the stock price, even with such a positive data. Plus the revenue guidance and clearance not being very clear. Um, maybe also people are still waiting for the May 31st the actual speech of this promising data of the 202 readout at ASCO. We just have to see. But fundamentally, we still think this stock is very promising, right? Everybody often are joking when the stock price goes up so a lot is, hey, does this stock cure cancer, right? And this is a, literally a stock finally can cure or at least a certain percentage cure the cancer, but the stock price just got hit so badly, which is really disappointing. But we're hoping this video boosts your confidence in terms of the fundamental aspect of the stock. And I hope I cover the uncertainty of the stock. And then if you have any question, make sure to leave a comment down below. And I'm hoping soon Alphans can start to break this downtrend. And, and, and to be honest, if there's a rate hike, as soon as June, boom, XBI will go up so quickly, and IELTS probably will be traded at 18 or $20 by now, really, really fast, just like uh, December last year, right? Boom, November, once Fed's uh, hint that they're going to pivot, IELTS went up, $3 to $18. We still think right now the price is really undervalued. It's kind of like a $3 moment like last year. So uh, personally, I'm adding more because I really loved what I've seen. But I'm adding slowly now because knowing that the fact that the inflation might not be controlled until the year end, that means more painful period for the small cap and early bell tech. So just a few more conclusion. And if you really enjoy our content and want to try out our paid Discord member, uh, we actually cover a lot more than biotech stocks, tech stock, fintech. Uh, healthcare, I'm sorry, um, finance, and many other stocks. So make sure to check us out on www.moneypicktraining.com, uh, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Rally, all Money Pick Training. Make sure to follow us as well. Thank you for watching. Uh, make sure to like the video. See you guys in the next video. Bye bye.